Free scoring London Genesis put up another cricket scoreline as they faced Bedford Futsal Club in the FA National Futsal Series. Denilson Silva opened the scoring for Genesis, finishing from a tight angle, before captain Ivan De Dieu added the second to finish off a long run by Claudio Ribeiro. Silva got his second of the day with a fine finish into the top corner, then played his part in putting the ball back, so De Dieu's defence splitting pass could play Ribeiro in for number four. Bedford would finally get on the score sheet when they were awarded a penalty for Paolo Lima foul on Pennell Taylor Jacob. Jack Stammers took the spot kick, firing between the keeper's legs to get Bedford on the board. Hopes that the goal might spark a comeback were soon dashed, as Lima atoned for giving away the penalty by poking home Genesis' fifth goal of the half. Silva completed his hat trick to make it six with Ribeiro's gut-busting run up the middle leading to a bevy of missed chances before Manuel Sarmento finally smacked the ball in off the underside of the bar. Lima finished off a prolific first half for Genesis, showing some nice footwork to make room for his second and his team's eighth goal of the game, all before half-time. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Genesis took their foot off the gas somewhat in the second half, but still found time to add number 9 as Michael Zakowski's shot was deflected harshly into his own net by Taylor Jacob. Ribeiro completed his hat-trick via the goalkeeper's face, adding injury to insult as Genesis reached double figures. With their second, Bedford can take home the small consolation of having scored what was probably the best goal of the match, Ryan Tappin finishing off a beautiful passage of one-touch football. Genesis soon had the ball in the opposite net again though, Ribeiro deserving of much of the credit, although Lima had the final touch. Ribeiro wouldn't have long to wait for his fourth goal of the day however, taking on the keeper's throw and stabbing the ball in off the far post. Still not content, Silva made it to Baker's dozen with a powerful strike into the far corner, and finally Lima became the third Genesis player to score a hat-trick with a sumptuous back heel, to complete the scoring at a resounding 14-2 win for London Genesis. The second game of the day between London Baku and Sussex Futsal Club would be decidedly lower scoring and a much more tense affair as a result, as after a goalless first half, Jimmy Elford fired Sussex into the lead after winning the ball in midfield and beating two defenders. Their second goal came from more of a Route 1 approach, Ronaldo Cromwell receiving the keeper's long throw and finishing low into the far corner. Baku would snatch a goal back late in the second half when Anthony Barbosa finished off a flowing move, but it would be the best Baku had to offer as they fell 2-1 to Sussex Futsal Club. London Scholar faced MK Mavericks and would be the final game of the day. Escola took an early lead when Elliot McMillan found himself with an empty net after a defensive miscommunication for Mavericks. The second came courtesy of Vinicius Sampaio, firing between the keeper's legs to double Escola's lead. Enrique Do Carmo, the captain, added the third shortly after with a powerful strike off the underside of the crossbar. The fourth goal was the pick of the bunch, coming from Morgan Walsfold's Greg's bullet into the net from range after receiving the corner. Mavericks would steal a goal back in the second half, David Nagy winning the ball in midfield and seeing his pass across the area turned home by a scholar's Miguel Martin. Escola were not done however and added a fifth as James Durkin aggressively won the ball back and fired it at the near post. It would be the final goal of an entertaining day of futsal, one that saw London Escola defeat MK Mavericks by five goals to one. <laughs>